guys and welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be doing a what I eat in a day vlog so you guys asked if I could give you guys a little update info on like what I've been eating of recent just because I was vegan then I went vegetarian and now I'm kind of like keto vegetarian <laughs> I do have like high fats low carb kind of thing anyways basically I'll just show you what I eat in a day i'll stop rambling so let's get to it shall we so for breakfast i kind of got it set up behind me i'll show you guys what i do i do vary it up a lot so because i do usually do the gym in the morning hence why i'm nice and sweaty at the moment i will try and have like my carbs and everything right after my workout so i mean it does vary up like sometimes I'm a bit slack and i'll have it toward the end of the day but my trainer did say like try and have my carbs and everything toward like right after workout if it's either at the end of the day have your carbs if you've done a workout then or if I do my workout at the beginning of the day have my carbs then so I'll usually try and like have a banana with some peanut butter and that'll be like kind of like either if, like my breakfast if I'm not that hungry or like a snack before breakfast or something like that what I am having for breakfast this morning is chia seed pudding but the other day I like had pancakes my sister made I'll have like leftovers from dinner if I'm a bit lazy I don't feel like having like making myself like a bowl of porridge or something like it really does vary on what I feel like at the time so I mean sometimes you can have smoothies and stuff sometimes I have eggs like maybe like I make myself an omelette or something so it really 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 does vary but today I'll just show you my like cheesy pudding like recipe thing so what you're gonna need is one bowl some chia seeds of your preference whether it be white black I have usually like a mixture and whatever toppings you'd like so I am using cacao nibs I really like them they're high in iron and they make it a little bit more like chocolatey and I'll go in with some fruit so today I'm going to take some raspberries I just like them they're in season I've just been loving them lately and I'll also go in with some blueberries these ones are whopping huge too by the way guys, they're like giant blueberries. Oh and I also like nearly forgot the most important part which is the coconut milk. Um, you guys can go in with whatever milk, you can use almond if you would like. I go in with coconut, um, organic brand just because I prefer organic, um, just so you know that they don't use pesticides and things. So with chia seed pudding, the thing is it's like a 2 to 1 ratio. So I use about this much of chia seeds just so it fills the bottom of the bowl. Then with the milk, I'm just going to kind of double that. So I like I said, I guess I mean, if you want to be right on, bang on precise, you can, um, you can measure it like one cup of chia seeds, two cups of milk. Then I just grab a teaspoon and I'll just stir it around just so that all the chia seeds are kind of like soaked in. There's none that are like dry looking or anything like that. And then what I'll do is I'll let this sit in the fridge overnight. So it needs a few hours to set and let the chia seeds absorb the actual milk. As you can see, that's a pretty good amount, like, chia seed to milk ratio. Sometimes I'll have it off and it'll be a bit runny. Then in the morning, I'll just, like, before gym, I'll just add a few more chia seeds and stir it in. And by, like, when, like, when gym is finished, so about an hour and a half later, they'll be soaked in and it'll be nice and thick. Here is one I prepared a little earlier. So this is the one I prepared last night. As you can see, it's nice and thick. The chia seeds are all kind of, like soaked in yum so i'm just gonna hand hold you guys at one just because i find it a little bit easier i really love the coconut milk in the chia seed pudding i just find it tastes i just prefer the flavor of a coconut rather than almond you can use rice milk you can use soy milk you can use dairy milk whatever you prefer you can even add like sweeteners like some vanilla essence or something like that or maple syrup like anything you'd like i just prefer not to i try not to have too much sugar intake my body doesn't like it so what I use is my cacao nibs. So I'll just add like a sprinkle of these. And then what I'll do is I'll add my fruit in as well. So I'll do my raspberries. You can wash these. Probably best to wash them before you put them in your bowl. Just to get rid of any like chemicals or anything. The other day guys I found like a little bug in my raspberries. I bit into it. So now I'm kind of like a little bit paranoid. Like I have to look in the middle before I like put them in the bowl. But yeah, I just add a decent amount of raspberries and then I'll go in with my giant sized blueberries. Again, you should probably wash these and I'll just add these into my bowl as well. You can add a bit more finesse with this and like make it pretty and stuff. I'm just like chucking them on. And then yeah, I'll just like stir it through and that is my breakfast for today. Okay. 
Okay, guys. So, for lunchtime, I usually have, like... It's probably, like, my most complicated meal that I'll make during the day. Usually for dinner, I'll have, like, what the family's eating. But I'll probably cook something myself tonight just to show you guys what I would prefer to have as, like, a dinner meal. Like, usually something small. So, for my lunch, I usually have something quite big just to kind of sustain me throughout the day. Sometimes I will snack, and I usually like to snack on these Green Valley, like, dried fruits. So I'll have, like, apricot or there's dried mango and pineapples i prefer the pineapples rather than the mango as such but i do still like the mango ones but otherwise basically what i'm going to make today is like just a bunch of veggies so like we had roast pumpkin and like sweet potato chips as well last night that we just made and we put up in the oven so i'll probably have some of those leftovers and i'll also add in some goat's cheese i have two different ones here i'm going to use the cheddar one and I'm all, I've also got the like, kind of feta version of it as well I actually really like this one like I'm not a fan of feta but after tasting this one I was like damn like it is actually really yum and I also like have some eggs and some tofu as well to like get the proteins and fats and stuff in there too so I usually do like to add a bit of spinach in to it as well like I'll probably like just kind of stir fry it quickly just to kind of and add a bit of chili flakes in that's what I like to do with my spinach but there isn't any spinach in the fridge at the moment so I'm not doing them so I'll have to miss out on the greens so the tofu I'm actually going in today with is the organic um, firm tofu so I don't to get the super firm tofu but I do prefer the firm one just because I like to have it in cubes and things when I cook it up so what I like to do is I'll open a packet up and get two pieces of paper towel and I'll place the whole cube of tofu onto the paper towel and um, place the other piece over the top just to let it absorb any of the excess water um, that the tofu has been sitting in. Then what I'll do is I'll usually only use half the tofu because it is quite big and I'll save it for another time to cook up later. So I'll cut it in half, cut it up into cubes, and then what I'll do is I'll place some coconut oil onto a frying pan and then place the cubes of tofu onto there. So what I like to do is if I've only got a small amount of tofu, I'll actually like manually like turn the cubes over every like five or so minutes just so that they get nice and crispy all around the edges. Sometimes I'll add a bit of dressing over the top, whether it be some like gluten-free soy sauce or I'll even just have it plain. I might even use some gluten-free ch sweet chili sauce as well. But today I thought I'd be healthy and just have some like just raw tofu and I'll have it with my you know pumpkin and veggies and everything like that. And for my eggs, I actually don't like them runny. So I'll usually do two eggs in a frying pan and I'll just add more coconut oil just because it's so um, high in fats and it's really good for you. And I'll just have my eggs cooked like well. I don't like them runny. I've always never really liked them runny to be honest. I'm one of those people that likes them hard cooked. Even like if I'm boiling them or something I'll have it hard, hard cooked as well. Okay so you guys can see now they're pretty much all like crispy. I don't mind if there's a few that's a little bit white and stuff. But that's like that to me like I don't mind. So now that it's all crispy, I'm just going to turn off the stove, take it off. I actually only use like about half of the amount of this and I'll have the rest for dinner later. That's the beauty about like cooking up all my stuff basically at lunch is that for dinner I can just throw a few things together and it's not much of a hassle. I'll have about this much left in the pan, I'll have that for dinner. And then I'm just going to add some of these sweet potato chips that we made last night so we just basically like there's this little shredder that you just shred the potato on chuck them on an oven tray with some coconut oil put them in the oven till they're nice and crispy just gonna add a few of those don't mind my fingers and then i've just microwaved up some pumpkin as well to have with that i'm a big fan of pumpkin actually i'll probably have it about twice a day and sometimes even three like breakfast lunch and dinner if I'm really lazy and we've made a lot of roast pumpkin the night before but yeah this is how we're looking at the moment we're gonna add some of the cheeses in and I also found some of this nut cheese that I bought at the vegan markets the other day I went to the ones in Newcastle don't mind that noise it's just my bird in the background playing with the toys 
and it's actually really yum. What is it? Let me show you. It is the vegan cheddar. We bought a Gouda one and a kind of like a spread cheese as well. And it's pretty nice. It's not my favorite. I think the Gouda was my favorite one, but I will have some of that in my bowl as well. So basically, my, I'm just having like pumpkin, sweet potato, and then like eggs and cheese and a bit of tofu. <laughs> Yeah. So I'm currently now just going to add some of that like goat's cheese, that feta, into the mix. This is just the cheddar version here. I don't react to goat's cheese as much as I do with dairy. Like I just don't eat dairy now because I just get so sick. But with goat's cheese it does, I haven't reacted at all which is awesome. Of course I source my produce like you know my eggs and stuff. We usually go to a local farmer and get their eggs just because I don't I'm still even though I'm not vegan anymore like I'll eat out vegan and I'm still very conscious where I get you know my animal products from and then I have some of the cheddar I just had a couple pieces because it is quite strong a flavor and this here guys is my lunch it's not as aesthetic as <laughs> my chia seed one as you can see so i'm not gonna do a full dive in the bowl so yeah don't judge oh guys i just realized um that i actually put a few like spices on usually during lunchtime especially just to get different nutrient levels i'll usually do these as my kind of ones that i'll sprinkle on i do the pepper because turmeric and pepper work well together they help it's, pepper helps the turmeric get absorbed better and turmeric is anti-inflammatory so it's really good for your body. I also use ginger because it's good for the gut and I have a lot of gut health issues. Fennel seeds are really good for you as well. Cumin also good. I usually go in with coriander. I can't remember if it's cumin or coriander that helps with weight loss but I do usually use those two as well. I'll go in with garlic as well because that's anti-inflammatory too. So I'll usually sprinkle all of these onto my food just for all the health benefits and stuff like that. I'll see you guys at dinner. Okay guys, so I'm now currently outside at the veggie patch. I'm going to grab some spinach leaves just under here. This is the spinach that's currently growing at the moment. It's actually doing really well, you can see now. So this is our little veggie patch. I'm just going to go and grab some spinach leaves for like dinner tonight. So I've just washed and shredded the le like the spinach leaves in the bowl and then added the tofu that I made at lunch as well. So I'm thinking I might even add an avocado or like at least like half an avocado. So I'll add half an avo to my bowl as well. I also have from the fridge some like sauerkraut. This is the beetroot and ginger. We do have um cabbage as well but I actually prefer the beetroot and ginger especially because the ginger is really good on my stomach. I also use some hemp seeds for the added like protein, omegas and all that jazz. As you can see it's actually really beneficial I just know hemp's really good for you. I also have a container of some cucumber, parsley and tomato in here which I'll just use a bit of that and sprinkle it onto my bowl with the avo and I've also got some lemon juice that I'll probably drizzle over the top. I swear every time I'm cooking with an avocado I always think of that meme, you know that video with that kid opening up his Christmas presents or something and he gets given an avocado. I always think of that saying like oh my god it's an avocado and just spoon in some of those cucumbers and tomatoes. And usually I just take a pinch of the sauerkraut. Sauerkraut? Sauerkraut? However you like to say it. So this is pretty much a dinner for me. Like I said, I like to try and keep it light, especially if um, I've had a heavy lunch. Of course you could totally switch lunch and dinner around. Add things, take away things. Sometimes I'll even make a Buddha bowl. Sometimes I'll even have what the fam is having as well. You know, I'll even sometimes drizzle some apple cider vinegar over the top as well to really like assist in my like gut health kind of stuff. But yeah, this is pretty much what I'd keep or what I'll have for dinner. But yeah, guys, I do hope you enjoyed today's vlog. 
um, what I eat in a day. I swear, I think, I feel like I don't really have set things that I eat just in one day. This is kind of what I felt like having for today. Sometimes I'll have heavier meals for dinner, sometimes I'll have lighter meals for lunch, sometimes I won't have breakfast, sometimes I'll have a heavier meal for breakfast. It really does vary up. Also, just FYI, if you do want to see how I got this makeup look, I'll make sure to leave that link down below if I've already uploaded the video. Otherwise, it will be up very, very soon, depending when I've uploaded this video. I don't know if I'll upload it before or after my makeup one. We'll see. But yeah, I'm going to go have dinner now. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did find it helpful. And if you have any other requests for videos in the upcoming future, please let your girl know. Also, if you have any Halloween makeup ideas, please let me know. Because... I'm on Struggle Street trying to think of what I want to do this year. Otherwise, I'll see you guys very soon. Thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you for all your support. And I'll see you very soon. Bye.